Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Friday, the 5th of April. I'm James Spann. The sky clearing is expected this afternoon. Weather for the weekend warm. Maybe a few scattered storms. The better chance of storms will likely be Sunday night and Monday in terms of coverage. Let's check things out. This is the upper air look based on the 12Z data this morning. And the shortwave trough that brought the rain last night early this morning, now east of the state. A new trough coming into the southwest. Visible satellite view as advertised. The sky becoming partially sunny this afternoon. Temperatures are around 70 in most spots. It's 70 for Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, Auburn, Birmingham 69. Highs over the weekend around 80 degrees. And around the nation, warmer air spreading north as springtime temperatures are taking over for now. There's the watch warning map, pretty quiet now, but there is a risk of severe storms west of the state through tonight for parts of west Texas and southwest Oklahoma. And for South Alabama and the Florida Panhandle, there is a low-end severe weather threat for this evening. That's a marginal risk of severe storms. Tomorrow, we now have an enhanced risk of severe storms west of Alabama. That runs from near Waco, Texas, up to Shreveport, Texarkana, El Dorado, and the Mississippi Delta. And the SPC guys have now introduced a marginal risk for a pretty good chunk of Alabama tomorrow. And understand tomorrow is not going to be a rainy day, but where storms do form, they could be fairly strong with gusty winds, maybe some small hail. Day three, this is Sunday, and keep in mind this outlook runs through 7 a.m. Monday. A risk of severe storms for parts of the Mid-South, up into parts of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky. And again, uh, in Alabama, the better chance of stronger storms most likely will be Sunday night. We've got the standard slight risk west of a line from Huntsville down to Linden. The standard, the, uh, and then a marginal risk as far east as Gadsden, Clanton, and Monroeville. And we'll talk more about these specifics on this in a minute. Rain for the next seven days. Fairly wet for much of the country. Rain amounts for Alabama between one and two inches between now and Friday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run ballot tomorrow afternoon at 1. You can see troughing coming into Texas. And down below that, it's going to be a pretty warm day. The high will be around 80, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. And there will be widely scattered storms. No doubt there could be a thunderstorm. Where storms do form, they could be strong. But a decent part of the day will likely be dry. Let's go to Sunday. Pretty much the same deal. Partially sunny and warm. Low 80s are likely. And there could be a storm during the day, but the better chance will likely be west of here. And then this is Sunday night, just after midnight, 1 a.m. Monday. We got a surface low at Shreveport, and showers and storms will likely be increasing in aerial coverage and intensity. And Monday looking fairly wet and stormy with a surface low near Memphis. Uh, the surface low not all that deep, but the air will be unstable. This is the surface base Cape Monday, and this is Monday afternoon at 1 so Monday could be a fairly wet and stormy day. Remains to be seen if we'll see a major severe weather threat, but certainly a chance of some strong storms on Monday. The high should be in the 70s. Now, this is Tuesday. The surface low is east of here. There could be a few lingering showers. I'd say clouds will probably linger much of the day. But again, the most widespread, heaviest rain off to the east. The high Tuesday will be in the 70s. And then Wednesday should be a dry day. How about low 80s? The sky mostly sunny. We note a new surface low developing over far southeast Colorado. Thursday, that feature advances rapidly to the east, but there's no moisture down here. And again, the models suggest it's going to be dry for the latter half of the week. Let's go to a week from today. This is Friday, the 12th of April. Troughing north of us and a surface low over North Carolina. And that looks dry. So uh, the, for now, the latter half of next week looking dry, even though a fairly dynamic system passes north of here. Let's go out 10 days. This is Monday, the 15th of April. Upper low near San Francisco, troughing to the north, and that suggests a cold front will come through with maybe a chance of showers and thunderstorms at that point. Let's check the numbers off the GFS Ensemble. You can see we'll probably hit the low 80s this weekend. After that, highs mostly in the 70s and lows mostly in the 50s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video posted here Monday morning by 7 o'clock. Can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.
Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.